Okay, what's going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. I look a little gray and I'm not sure why my lighting is a little screwy. Oh, look at that. I'm blinking and flying away. But anyway guys, I'm going to be starting a new series on the original Quake. Now I do have the original uh, CD right here. If you can see that. Oh, it's flickering in and out. It's the original. It's registered. What well, showed if I hold it up? Eh. Eh. Wow. Chroma Cam sucks. But anyway, guys, uh, it's the original uh, shareware, or shareware, non-shareware version, uh, registered version of Quake on CD. I'm very interested in playing this game, so we're going to install it from start to finish. I don't know if I can do WinQuake or GL Quake. Uh, whatever's on the CD is what I'm going to use. So we're going to get the full experience of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a CD drive over here. And we're going to get the installation rolling. Where that takes us, put it in there using a USB CD drive. I have too many, uh, too many ports used on my motherboard, and I can only use a uh, four of six with a M.2 drive installed. Oh well. Yep. Here we go. Quake 01. Uh, just show me it. Take no action, I guess. Um, so this is going to be slightly annoying, I would imagine. So this PC, uh, and then we're going to go to Quake, and we're just going to open. Can't see anything I'm doing. All right. So anyway. We're going to open up the drive right here, uh, and then here's an installer. It's a batch file, uh, Windows batch file. So this this may not run unless I get into DOS. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's unsupported. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up DOSBox. We're going to use DOSBox to install it. I assume that this was going to be a process, so what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm going to die. Guys, right, so I'm going to die. DOSBox. 74-3, uh, that's what I'm using. And then we're going to uh, mount, we're going to mount C as, oh, let's mount, mount D as D colon slash, let's just do that. And then we'll go D and directory. Uh, then we're going to do install. We're just going to go ahead and install it. Uh, so we're going to install it. Oh, I, I didn't mount C. Damn it. We're going we're gonna to quit. We're going to mount. Okay, so that's. Yeah, so now we're going to mount uh, C as, let's install it to our C drive. C colon slash uh, games. Just do that. C directory. Okay, so. All right, did I end up, did I have a folder in there called uh, C Quake? Let's get the computer. C, I only got a gig free on this drive. Yikes. Uh, okay, so there is a drive there. I do have something there. Okay, something there to work with. All right, let's go back. And then we're going to uh, go back to D drive now that I've got, you know, the games directory available. And then we're going to uh, DIR and then install. And then we're going to mount it to C. And then we're going to go games, quake. Does that exist created? Listen to all the beeps. Yeah, sure. Oh, did it not work? No, we're just going to use the default directory. There it goes. And it's installing. Oh god, that noise. Listen to that. Ugh. Ugh, that noise. Watching it here. Oh my god. That is a terrible sound. Holy crap. Modern CD drives don't take very long to install. So let's let this guy go. Alright, and we're installed. Uh, let's see if this guy works. This is going to be the install tutorial for uh, the original Quake. Uh, I don't think this would be a popular video, but it's something I wanted to put up there because you need to know how to create the uh, the drives and make sure that you have both drives ready to go uh, before you even try to install from a CD or even floppy disks. So we're going to do escape to exit. It should start it up. It looks like it's going to start it. Oh, it's taking a while. Yoshi, 1991. Wow. CD drives making noise. I'm using a little USB guy. It's just, uh, he's just been in here doing his thing. This takes a little bit. The pack zero and pack one, they take a little bit. Pack one was the file that you wanted if you wanted the full version of the game without paying for it. You would try to, like, get somebody to give you your, their pack one file. It's, uh, not something that, you know, you should be doing. But it was something that, uh, you know, traded around a little bit. But it was such a large file that downloading it through a 56K, which back then, 56K was, like, 24 point, you know, 4K or, you know, 36K connection. Typically, you didn't have 56K speeds or even 14.4K. Some situations, like, you just, not many people had cable or DSL. And DSL was 
it was better than dial up, but it wasn't much better. Like you had 192 kilobits. Oh. Let this bad boy install and do its thing. Jesse, new Diablo trailer. Oh, I can't show it to you. Because of Chroma Cam, Diablo. Ah. Right. Pretty excited. Love a new Diablo game. I don't think they're gonna do uh, Diablo 2 justice. I know people are like saying it's gonna be very similar. Let's not play this. Why don't you just stop playing? Hit freaking YouTube. And Facebook all together. I don't think that they're gonna do uh, the original Diablo 2 justice. I feel like it's gonna be more of a Diablo 3 reskinned in a more uh, slightly grittier environment. That's what I think is gonna happen. It's not a bad thing. Diablo 3 was, uh, it was done well as far as like the gameplay went, but it got so boring. It was so easy to get the loot. So it, they have the season challenges, right? So you go through your season and then you, you just get the loot that, you know, that you're meant to use that season or that they want you to try to use that season. Really not, so it gets boring, you know? The, the whole grind for that prize of getting that rare loot drop or the last piece of gear that you need, you know, and just getting a bunch of stuff you don't need was part of the fun of Diablo 2. And I feel like Diablo 3, they kind of dropped the ball with that. It's so easy to get loot in Diablo 3. It's insane. And then once you're done with the season, you never touch that character again, so you just re-roll it. So I, I feel like, you know, and having high paragon normal characters doesn't mean anything because nobody plays with them. You just do seasons. Everyone does season, 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 season. So I, I feel like that's kind of boring. I'd rather have something where you're constantly making yourself more and more powerful and, you know, maybe have PvP. They drop the ball of PvP, the, the brawl arena, the brawl area. That's a joke. Oh, and it's totally nothing to do with Quake at all, but I really hope that they don't screw up this Diablo 4. Like, I think they will. I think they'll screw it up. But maybe they'll learn from their mistakes. Revisit Diablo 2. It, it looks like uh, they're taking some cues from it. But I, I'm very skeptical as far as, like, how they're going to handle it. Rant over. Room. Came and see it. Oh my god, guys, 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 guys. There it is. It's done. Oh, finally. God damn. That took a long time. Push any key to launch, and there it is. Uh, bam! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Oh. It's running so fast! It's so loud! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Alright, first of all, the game speed is way too high. So we'll have to address that. Press Y to quit. Okay. All right, all right. So we're gonna exit Quake. Um, I hello, that's me. Whoa. Anyway, it just does that. Um, so we will have to address that. But the game is installed and ready to go. Um, I will show you in the first episode of the series how to fix the speed. Uh, it's just to do with the the DOS box and the CPU speed. Uh, it's simple enough. It's easy to fix. Anyway, guys, if you like what you've seen here, if this helped you at all, uh, install the original Quake. Like I said, I don't expect this to be too popular, but you know, I like to play the original stuff. So the original DOS box version of the game is going to be pretty neat to play. Uh, the original DOS game before GL Quake, before Wind Quake. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed playing the original game because that's what I kind of cut my teeth on. So anyway, guys, uh, if you like what you've seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.